Gun reviews. Shooting tests. Loadout videos. This is a What You're Looking At production. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, hi, this is What You're Looking At with another video today. Um, this video is um, going to be on UTVs. Um, it's just my little acronym for Under the Vest. Basically, um, anything you'd have for airsoft or milsim that you put on under your airsoft vest, uh, per se, fatigues, uh, BDUs, ACUs, um, jackets, anything of the kind. But I'm going to go over the main things I use and what I think everyone else mainly uses. Okay, first off, under your UTV, under the vest, and especially even under that white t-shirt, um, these really help if you're sweating. These will take up all the sweat. That way you don't um your fatigues don't get all sweaty. Also when it's cold, these come really, really handy. I've had times where parts of my vest that aren't covered, that like when I played last November when I had my cross draw, I barely had any protection. I wore this on, hit me right there, I could feel it, but it didn't sting as bad because I was nice and warm. I wasn't cold. And if y'all know when you're cold, BBs hurt a whole lot more. You tend to be more sensitive to pain. Okay, also, after that, as you see here, um, this would be just a standard under the vest uh, black t-shirt. I like to wear it with um, OD. It tends to complement it really good. On the extremely hot days, say 85 and above, if you don't feel like sweating your butt off wearing uh, long sleeve fatigues or anything like that, black shirt, definitely do the job. Also cool, it gives you the contractor look, like, you know, you're on your own. You're not like a, like a civilized group of soldiers, but, you know... You're professional. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. But it looks really good. Okay, moving on. You have your woodland and your uh, desert camis. Uh, here is the, uh, the woodland. Uh, basically picked them up at a G.I. Joe surplus store. Got them used. I know they're used. But, you know, only seven bucks. You really can't beat that. Uh, someone else's name tag. A couple little patches. Just for authenticity since it is real. Um... Really good for uh, cold days and sometimes warm days, but I always roll up the sleeves. I, re I re uh, prefer having short sleeves any time I play, but once again, that complements OD just as good as black. Okay, moving on uh, for my uh, desert cross draw vest, I would be using this right here. These are uh, desert camis. This is not digital, just plain old desert, as you see by the uh, design. Same thing as the last one, bought it used for eight bucks. Um, it's done its job, that's why I bought it. Okay, um, two other types, you have your multicams, which are uh, really popular now. Um, they also come in for like the molly pouches and some of the condor vests, or condor vests, my fault. But um, they tend to be a little bit more expensive than all the other camouflages, so I've stayed away from those. And I prefer OD and black anyways. Also, the other kind are the digitals. Sometimes you might see a digital woodland, but not that often. Um, digital desert, I've seen a lot of. But as I said, this is desert camis. It looks just like this, but in a digital pattern. Also, the, uh, I'd say the polar camos. I really don't know how to say it. But it's the, it's the camo pattern with the white and the blue on it. Um, those tend not to be too popular, but they look pretty cool if you lived and a place with a lot of snow. Also, the uh, the last one I'm going to talk about is uh, Marpat. That tends to have the other oranges, the reds, and the uh, greens in it. And it's a pretty good looking camo if, say, you had AKs or something. Um, it tends to look a little bit more Russian than American, but nevertheless, does its job. It looks great. Okay. Um, that's it for UTVs or under the vest. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to ask me on what you're looking at. Also, a little update. Um, L96 is sold. No more people ask me. Got the money for it. Sit the gun out. Uh, that's really great. And, of course, now I plan to get the KWA SR12. Um, maybe not any time within the next month or two. But uh, since I did sell the L96, I have another order I'll be making for uh, some other parts I need for the UMP because the Chinese bucking needs to be replaced on that. I'm getting two extra mags for my AK because my 1,000 round mag on that broke. And um, 
that's pretty much it besides other small stuff here. Let me look at the list. Oh yeah, I'm getting a pistol grip. I'm not getting the Magpul one yet, but I'm getting a cheaper one for $20, $20 off of Airsoft GI. It's rubberized. I'm just buying that one for my ICSM4 because I've always still wanted a pistol eyes, uh, <laughs> rubberized pistol grip. And then when I buy the KWA, I'm going to get the, uh, the Bamboo RIS made by Madpool, which is rubberized. And also the Magpool grip, Miad grip, which is rubberized. Okay, that's it for this video. There's a little update, a little bit about UTVs under the vest. If you have any questions, make sure to ask me. I'm not going to make this video any longer. This has been What You Looking At Production. Make sure you subscribe, comment, rate, request. This is What You Looking At Out.